Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Master. As we all know that Civil Engineering is filled with measurements. Without measurements, there is no Civil Engineering. So it is super important to know about the measurements. Generally, we all get confused how to convert the units, how to convert the measurements. We have to be very careful while converting these units because if we go somewhere wrong, we'll end up with the wrong calculation and wrong value. So that creates many problems. So in this video, let's discuss in detail about all the measurements which is used in civil engineering and how to convert from one unit to another unit. I'm sure by the end of this video, you can convert all the units on your own without any trouble. So without delay, let's begin. Please do watch this video till the end without skipping. Before starting with the unit conversion, let's discuss few important things about units. We have international system of unit that is called SI units. Metric units is the SI unit. This is the unit which is used worldwide. Globally, we use this metric units. Only three countries are not using this metric units they use imperial units that i'll tell you later what is imperial units first let's discuss with this metric unit metric unit consists of length mass and volume the basic unit is meter then decimeter centimeter millimeter meter is the base unit these are all the smaller units and compared to meter let's see the bigger units decameter hectometer and kilometer so this is the very very base one from this smaller units and and these are all bigger units this is smaller and this is bigger one meter means 10 decimeter one meter means 100 centimeter and one meter is equal to 1000 millimeter let's discuss about the conversion if you want to convert from meter to decimeter you have to multiply that means bigger unit to smaller unit you are converting meter is bigger than decimeter so when you convert bigger unit to smaller unit you have to multiply so that is what it is given here you have to multiply Similarly, if you convert smaller unit to bigger unit, you have to divide. For example, decimeter is smaller than meter. So if you convert decimeter to meter, you have to divide. If you take this kilometer, kilometer is bigger than this hectometer. So big to small means multiply, small to big means divide. So this you have to remember always and you should know and also you should know which is bigger unit and which is smaller unit. In metric units, if you take length, meter is the base unit from this you can convert all these kind of units if you take it as a weight weight is measured in grams right gram will be the base unit and decigram centigram milligram like that it goes and similarly here it is decagram hectogram and kilogram and if you take a volume that will be in liters liter is the base unit and deciliter centiliter milliliter similarly decaliter hectoliter and kiloliter imperial unit consists of feet inches and pound length measurement and area measurement and all we use feet and inches weight is measured by pound we don't use generally pound we use kilograms in kilonewton ton those are all the units we use for measuring the weight we can also convert metric unit to imperial unit now let's discuss about the unit conversion let's start with meter one meter is equal to thousand mm one meter is hundred centimeter one meter is 3.28 feet one meter is 39.36 inches one meter is equal to one 1.09 yard here you can notice that here compared to all these unit meter is the bigger unit so when you want to convert from meter to millimeter or centimeter feet or inches or yard you have to multiply you should remember always bigger unit to smaller unit you have to multiply next one is feet one feet is 304.8 millimeter one feet is equal to 30.48 centimeter one feet is equal to 0 0.3048 meter one feet is 12 inches and one feet is 0.33 yard for example let me write three meter three meter is how many millimeters meter to millimeter three meter is three multiplied by thousand we are converting smaller unit to bigger unit so it is three thousand mm next let's convert five meter five meter to feet five meter is how many feet five multiplied by 3.28 which is equal to 16.4 feet now let's convert in other way we have 50 centimeter 50 centimeter to meter 
50 centimeter is how many meter so what we have to do we have to divide because we are converting smaller to bigger unit we know 1 meter is 100 centimeter so 50 by 100 is 0.5 meter 50 centimeter is 0.5 meter now let's convert feet to meter 50 feet we have that we are going to convert into meter we are converting smaller unit to bigger unit so we need to divide which is equal to 15.24 meter next let's convert feet to inches we have 4 feet 4 feet into inch here we are converting bigger unit to smaller unit so we need to multiply 1 feet is equal to 12 inches so 4 multiplied by 12 which is 48 inches next let's look into the inch measurements 1 inch is equal to 25.4 millimeter 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter 1 inch is equal to 0 0.0254 meter see these all depends upon this meter centimeter and millimeter calculation so that is why you get these values 1 inch is equal to 0 0.083 feet and 1 inch is equal to 0 0.027 yard next one is yard 1 yard is 3 feet 1 yard is equal to 0 0.91 meter 1 yard is equal to 36 inches let's look into this inch conversion so when we tell about this uh, measurements like column size beam size and all inch measurement for example size of the column is 9 inch by 12 inch how do we convert this into millimeter so 9 multiplied by 25.4 we are converting smaller unit to bigger unit so that comes around 230 mm and 12 inches 300 mm next let's convert yard unit for example if we have 3 yard 3 yard to feet 3 yard is 3 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 9 so here we are converting bigger unit to smaller unit next let's convert feet to yard so we have 5 feet 5 feet to yard so how do we do that so 1 yard is 3 feet so 5 feet divided by 3 which is equal to 1.6 yard next let's look into kilometer 1 kilometer is 1000 meter 1 kilometer is equal to 0.6213 mile 1 kilometer is equal to 3280.84 feet 1 kilometer is equal to 39370 inches 1 kilometer is equal to 1093.61 yard we don't need to remember all these data values only we need to remember few basic data and then we can convert and we can uh, arrive the values for other uh, units next one is mile mile is bigger than kilometer one mile is equal to 1.6093 kilometer one mile is 1609.34 meter one mile is equal to 5280 feet one mile is equal to 1760 yard let's convert 5 kilometer to feet how many feet we know we are converting bigger unit to smaller unit so we need to multiply 5 multiplied by 3280 we get 16400 feet next let's convert 10 mile is how many kilometers we are converting bigger unit to smaller unit 10 multiplied by 1.609 we get 16.09 kilometer Till now we have discussed about length measurements, distance measurements. Now let's see the land measurements. For example, if we have length of the land as 100 feet and width of the land is 50 feet. So we need to calculate the area. So the measurements are in feet. So we, we get the area as square feet. 100 multiplied by 50, we get 5000 square feet. We know the square feet value. Now if we wanted to convert this one into square meter, what is the conversion factor? 1 square meter is equal to 10.76 square feet. We know 1 meter is 3.28 feet. So how do we get that one? 1 square meter is equal to 10.76 square feet. This is the calculation. 1 meter square is equal to 3.28 multiplied by 3.28. We get 10.76 square feet or feet square. This is how you, you have to arrive the area measurements. So area we know 5000 square feet. How do we convert that one into square meter? So here we are converting smaller unit to bigger unit. We need to divide 5000 divided by 10.76 we get 464.68 square meter. We know one square meter is equal to 10.76 square feet and one square meter is equal to 
one square meter is equal to 1549.2 square inches one square meter is equal to 1.19 square yard let's convert 1200 square feet to square meter so we are converting smaller unit to bigger unit so we need to divide 1200 divided by 10.76 we get 111.52 square meter similarly let's convert square meter to square feet let's consider 1000 square meter which is equal to how many square feet so here we have to multiply 1000 square meter multiplied by 10.76 which is equal to 10,760 square feet. Next, let's see with the meter unit. We have length of 100 meter and width of 50 meter. So, area is 5,000 square meter. So, this one we need to convert into square feet. One square feet is equal to 0 0.093 square meter. So, how do we get this one? One feet we know that is 0 0.3048 meter. So, one feet square is equal to 0 0.0929 square meter. So, area 5,000 square meter meter is 53,763.44 square feet. So, 1 feet square is equal to 0 0.093 square meter. 1 feet square is 144 square inches. 1 feet square is 0 0.109 square yard. We know 1 feet is equal to 12 inches. So, to convert feet square, 12 multiply by 12 which is equal to 144 square inches similarly you can convert for square yard next one is cent this is one important unit while calculating the measurements land measurements one cent is 435.6 square feet 435.6 square feet one cent is 40.48 square meter one cent is 0 0.01 acre Let's do some calculation. Someone is saying that I I have 4 cents of land. So, how do you calculate that one? 4 cent is equal to, how do you tell that in square feet? 4 cent is how many square feet? So, we are converting bigger unit to smaller unit. So, we need to multiply. 4 multiplied by 435.6. So, that is 1742.4 square feet. So, if you have 4 cents of land, that is 1000. 742.4 square feet next square feet to cent let's calculate we have 10,000 square feet area so this is how much cent this is how much cent we need to divide 10,000 divided by 435.6 so we get 22.95 cent if it is a 10,000 square feet area, that comes around 22.95 cent. Next, let's look into the acre measurement. One acre is 43,560 square feet. One acre is 4048.32 square meter. One acre is 100 cent. One acre is 0 0.405 hectare. Here, you don't need to remember all these value. If you remember this one, one acre equal to 100 cent, that is sufficient. From that, you can easily call other values because you know one acre is 100 cent you know one cent is how many square feet as we have seen before one cent is 435.6 square feet so from that we can calculate one acre is how much square feet we know one cent is equal to 435.6 square so from this we can find out acre values one acre is 100 cent so one acre is how many square feet one acre is equal to how many square feet 100 multiplied by 435.6 which is equal to 43,560 square feet next one is hectare one hectare is 1,7593.2 square feet one hectare is 9,999.36 square meter one hectare is 247 cent one hectare is equal to 2.47 acre here also if you remember this one value you can find out other values easily one hectare is this many acre from this you can find out the square feet and this also you can remember easily one hectare is equal to 10,000 square meter we know one hectare is equal to 1,7593.2 square feet so from this how how can we convert into square meter we know the value one square meter is equal to 10.76 square feet this we know already so from this we can convert 
ஒன் லேக் செவன் தௌசண்ட் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் நைன்டி த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் டூ டிவைடட் பை டென் பாயிண்ட் செவன் சிக்ஸ் வி கெட் நைன் தௌசண்ட் நைன் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் நைன்டி நைன் பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ் ஸ்கொயர் மீட்டர் ஸோ இட்ஸ் ஆல் இன்டர் கனெக்டட் இஃப் யூ ரிமெம்பர் ஃபியூ கன்வர்ஷன் யூ கேன் ஈஸிலி கன்வெர்ட் வாட் எவர் யூ வாண்ட் லெட் சி மோஸ்ட் காமன்லி யூஸ்ட் மெஷர்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஒன் சென்ட் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஃபோர் தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் சிக்ஸ் ஸ்கொயர் ஃபீட் ஒன் கிரவுண்ட் இஸ் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் ஸ்கொயர் ஃபீட் ஒன் ஏக்கர் இஸ் ஹண்ட்ரட் சென்ட் ஒன் ஏக்கர் இஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி த்ரீ தௌசண்ட் ஃபைவ் சிக்ஸ்டி ஸ்கொயர் ஃபீட் ஒன் ஹெக்டர் இஸ் டூ பாயிண்ட் ஃபோர் செவன் ஏக்கர் ஒன் ஏர்ஸ் இஸ் டூ பாயிண்ட் ஃபோர் செவன் சென்ட் தீஸ் ஆர் ஆல் த பேசிக் யூனிட்ஸ் யூ ஹேவ் டு ரிமெம்பர் இஃப் யூ ரிமெம்பர் தீஸ் கன்வர்ஷன்ஸ் யூ கேன் கன்வெர்ட் இன் டு வாட் எவர் த யூனிட்ஸ் யூ வாண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் லெட்ஸ் லுக்கிங் டு த வால்யூம் மெஷர்மெண்ட்ஸ் மீட்டர் கியூப் வால்யூம்ஸ் ஆர் மெஷர்ட் பை மீட்டர் கியூப்ஸ் டேக் திஸ் கியூப் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் மீட்டர் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் மீட்டர் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் மீட்டர் ஸோ த வால்யூம் ஆஃப் த கியூப் இஸ் ஒன் மீட்டர் கியூப் 1 meter cube is equal to 35.28 cubic feet. So how do we get this one? We know 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet. 1 meter cube is equal to 3.28 multiplied by 3.28 and multiplied by 3.28. So we get 35.28 CFT. 1 meter cube if you want to convert into liter that is equal to 1000 liters. Next let's look into the weight measurements. Weights are measured by using kilonewton, newton. kilogram and 10 1 kilo newton is equal to 1000 newton 1 kilo newton is equal to 100 kg 1 kg is 10 newton 1 ton is equal to 1000 kg 1 ton is equal to 10 kilo newton you may have a doubt where we use these kind of measurements and all. all the unit weight of materials are mentioned in kilo newton or newton or kg per meter cube meter cube means like volume as i told you before 1 meter cube of this cube or whatever the material we take that is how much weight per meter cube so that is the unit weight of material so that will be given in kilo newton per meter cube or kg per meter cube for example you have 1000 kg 1000 kg you wanted to convert into kilo newton how do you convert that one here you are converting smaller unit to bigger unit so 1000 divided by 100 which is 10 kilo newton 1000 kg is 10 kilo newton so this is how you need to convert if you remember one or two you can convert others very easily if you purchase any material for example let's consider reinforced steel if you want to purchase 10000 kg of reinforced steel how do you convert this one into 10000 kg is 10 ton now let's see what are all the units of measurements used in various construction activities earthwork excavation is measured in cubic meter fine cement concrete that is pcc that is also measured in cubic meter reinforced cement concrete is measured in cubic meter reinforced steel is measured in ton or kg actually first we need to take the running meter of the reinforced bars and then we need to convert that into kg or ton shattering or shuntering that is measured in square meter back filling is measured in cubic meter brickwork is in cubic meter tiling is measured in square meter plastering is in square meter painting is in square meter weathering coats is in square meter waterproofing is in square meter so these are all the major construction activities we should know the measurement of this unit measurement of these all activities so that we can calculate the quantities it will be very helpful for estimation so friends that's all about civil engineering measurements i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you have any queries your comments are always welcome and super thanks button is enabled in our channel if you really like the content if the content is useful to you if you want to support the channel please log in into your email id and click on the super thanks button below this video and pay some amount to support this channel also share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching